Let's do it. Hello everyone and welcome to Wrestling on the Rise, where we talk anything and everything wrestling. I'm your host, Rich Michaels, and today's show, I got some news carrying on from last episodes, plus an update of New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 27 tournament, and results of last episode, What Moves You, and surprise, I was at WWE's Raw this past Monday. I was live on Twitter showing you guys some clips, but I didn't show you all of it, so I got some more to show you, so stay tuned to the end of the show, and... Also, before I get into the show, actually, um, I got some things I want to say. And first of all, last episode was at an all-time wrestling on the rise high at 186 views and still climbing. Okay, uh, I just want to take a moment and just say thank you to everyone who watched it last last week and everybody who supported me through this whole journey. I am 10 episodes deep. Thank you for the support and the feedback. I am truly, truly grateful and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So thank you guys so much. So last episode, we were live from Lucha Tio's Planchet Tendencies and what an event it was. Uh, we had eight matches, three title defenses, a formation of a new team, plus Lego. Yeah, Lego. Also, my interview with the King of North himself, Carter Mason. And plus... We also uh, crowned a new Lucha Tio Royal Tag Team Champions in the fraternity, okay? They beat the Super Smash Bros in an awesome match, and at the end of the show, I caught up with the fraternity, and here's what they had to say. Ah! Hey, Chetsky! Rich Michaels here! Rich Michaels here with Wrestling on the Rise. I'm here with the fraternity, the Rich new who? Tag Team champion. Young buddy! Yeah, wow. man, Rich Michaels. <laughs> You guys got any words for tickles. Smash Bros? It tickles, it feels so good. <laughs> words, we got hands, we got beer. You saw what went on up there. It was a wild night. Yeah, it was. It was a bit of a wild night. And I don't mind saying, it's just beginning. <laughs> actually, <laughs> party actually, I need to I need to add in, you guys actually took my sister-in-law's beer and smashed over the head. Oh, of, uh, oh that's that not all we took, Summer. So, uh, is, there, is, there, is your sister-in-law Sue's? Is it Sue's? Uh, no, but like. It's not Sue's. No. Oh, oh thank oh, God. Because let me tell you, Trent took this girl at Sue's last I week. Right? And, and, all he said, the and he said, I know this is strange, but would you mind if you, you know, no, to oh. me, he says. And no, she's it all wasn't like, like that. You know, what year are we living in? And I'm okay. Like, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. No, no, no. It wasn't oh, like that's that. Oh, that's right. That's a different yeah. story. But yeah. Um, awesome match today here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we were there. Yeah. Yeah. We were there. Yes, we you guys did. were. We're acting like um, we weren't there. You're telling us something. We did the match. Any words for the Smash Bros? You guys have matching match How many words do you need? You need, like, more words? More words. More words. A xylophone. A computer. My friend, Freddy. Uh, that's not a word. That's, a, is that that's a, more of a statement. Well, I'm Rich Michaels. That's Wrestling Arise. They're the fraternity. Peace, guys. We're going to be the champion for eternity, <laughs> Those guys are wild, right? Trust me. They know how to party, man. Those guys are awesome, man. So uh, now moving on to New Japan Pro Wrestling news. Uh, the G1 Climax 27 tournament is coming to an end really soon. And so far, we've seen a lot of great matches with upsets. And I'm just going to say this, no one is going undefeated or winless, okay? And to understand what I'm talking about, go and watch Day 14 and watch the rest of the G1 Climax Tournament on njpwworld.com, okay? But here is an updated standings as of Day 16. My picks to win are still Omega and Naito, but after looking at the standings, you guys be the judge and you choose. Now it's time for what moves you. Last episode move was the super kick. And with a commanding whopping 62.5%, the winner of the super kick is Shawn Michaels. So I thank everybody who voted last week. I truly appreciate it. And now for this week's move, it's gonna be the frog splash. Alright? And the contestants are RVD, Eddie Guerrero, D'Lo Brown. And Hiroshi Tanahashi. Alright, you guys can vote. Please vote on the comments below or on Twitter and Instagram by tagging me at Wrestling on the One and always use the hashtag Wrestling on the Rise. Okay, so I want to thank everybody again. 
And now it's time for some highlights for Raw, as I promised. But be aware, the people around me, uh, some of them were yelling, cheering for Roman Reigns, which was awful. And some guy sitting right beside me was heckling the whole show. So just be advised. You might hear some of it. You might not. But anyways, let's get into the clips of Raw this past week. That's the moment that SmackDown has done this round! Unfortunately for you, my son Jason Jordan will not be a guest on your show tonight. He couldn't make it across the border. But in my place, by, by the names, I, I humbly inform you that my name is Paul. <laughs> I, I am the advocate for the reigning, defending, undisputed, universal champion, Brock Lesnar! How you doing? My client, Brock Lesnar, shows are just as much as awesome as is raw so if you guys are in ontario please check out these shows for lucha tio on august 27th is battle rock at lee's palace that's at 529 bloor street west in toronto and for alpha one on august 13th is the king of the hearts at the polish hall that's 219 olive avenue in oshawa and for berry wrestling on august 12th is scorch the earth at 49 Ferris Lane in Barrie. And for Northland Wrestling on August 12th is Rumble in the North 
at the Davity Club. That's 313 Airport Road in North Bay. And for NSW is the Atomic Age on the greatest day of them all, September 9th. They're at 12 Adamson Street South in Naval, Ontario. And also, we have a couple new organizations popping up here in Ontario because wrestling is on the rise and wrestling is booming here in Ontario. One of the organizations is BCW. That's Bytown Championship Wrestling and their inaugural show is September 17th at the Robert Gertin Center in Ottawa. And for AWE is Absolute Wrestling Entertainment and their inaugural show is October 15th at the Royal Canadian Legion number 58 and that is at 1180 Barton Street East in Hamilton. So if you guys want tickets to any of these shows, please hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling on the One and I will point you to the right direction on how to get these tickets. All right. Well, guys, that's the end of the show. I just want to tell you guys, please vote for what moves you by commenting below or on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling on the One. Please don't forget to use the hashtag Wrestling on the Rise. Please like the video or dislike it if you guys are haters. And as promised, as always, a surprise for next week's episode. All right. I'm Rich Michaels. You're watching Wrestling on the Rise. And peace. See you guys next week. <laughs>